I'll learn the guitar one day. In your dreams. Hey, knock off the records. There are people who are trying to sleep. Thank you. Good night. I slept like a rock. Let's see what the others made for breakfast this morning. Hmm? Howdy, guys. What's up? Oh, good morning, Swain Chuck. You're just in time. We're discussing something important you should probably hear. And what might that be? Well, someone last night destroyed the cameras. Really? How many of them? Every single one of them. Mm-hmm. And they're all damaged beyond repair. Jeez Louise, that's insane. Do you know who did it? No, but we're looking to figure that out right now. Um, Freddy? Me and Chica have checked the exit and windows, and so far, we found no signs of someone breaking in. Not even a single dent. What? How is that possible? How could someone just break all our cameras and not leave a single trace? Whoever this person is, he is one sleek, sneaky demonje. I don't know what that means, but I agree with you. By the way, were there any indicators of what the cameras might have been broken with? Well, hmm. They appear to be smashed to bit bits with one hit, so something heavy and blunt was likely used. Like a hammer. Or an axe. You know, the more I think about it, the only place that has access to such destructive tools is your room, Spray Trap. What are you suggesting? I'm not saying it was you, but do you keep your door locked? If not, someone might have came into your room and used the stuff inside. Are you kidding me? That doesn't sound logical. I sleep there. I would have known if someone came in and used my stuff. That's true. Hmm. We'll have to talk more about this another time. For now, we need to order new cameras and someone needs to be on the watch tonight. Any volunteers? Oh, no. No, 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 no. What? It's just one person, guys. For all we know, it could just be a foolish human being making poor life choices. Freddy, that Skywag knocked out all of our cameras without a trace. And judging by the damage from the cameras, this lad is quite strong. Oh, I know someone who can guard the pizzeria tonight. That's it? You want me to guard the pizzeria from some foolish random? Yes. You think you can do it? <sighs> of course. A normal human being wouldn't stand a chance against me. I'm the same one who fought you guys, remember? Yeah, but I wouldn't underestimate this person. I'd be careful just in case. Okay, if you insist, I'll take a form of caution. Alright, settled. You guys carry on with your day, and I will go online and order new cameras. <sighs> well, nothing outside. I checked every room in the building already. Nothing in there. And there's nothing out here either. <sighs> Man, it sure is late. Or should I say, early in the morning. I would want to go back inside and go to sleep, but that wouldn't be the right thing to do. Only slackers do that. And I'm not a slacker. <laughs> <laughs> There's just no place like home. I'm on the roll. <laughs> Lock all who stood before me. Now to pay your other friends a visit. <sighs> yeah, stack that Big Mac with pickles and special sauce. Say hello to my little friend. Who did this to you? I don't know, but oh, they just had to rub salt in the wound. We were already decommissioned. Might as well damage us further. Oh. I'm already missing my arm and my face. Now I'm missing my hand and leg. My life was already a misery. Hey, 
Me very much for the damage because of that scabby sea bass. Not just that, but they damaged Chica so badly she lost her jaw. <laughs> oh man, this is way more serious than I thought. No way a normal human can do this. None of them are strong enough to damage us. Where is Wither Girl and Freddy? Guys, I have some very bad news to bring you. What is it, Puppet? It wasn't just the Withers who got ambushed. Wither Girl and Freddy was as well. Is he alright? I'm sorry, guys, but he's... he's gone. What? Come on, Puppet! Explain what you mean! He's just gone from the pizzeria! Right? He's... he's dead. No! No! You... you could bring him back, right? Right? If you did it with Bonnie, then you could do it with Goldie. I can't! He's too damaged to be resurrected. Bonnie only suffered a missing leg and an infection that shut down his circuits. With a golden phrase, entire core has been destroyed to smithereens. You can't repair something like that. What about Toy Chica? You managed to repair her when she had that shadow demon punch right through her chest. She got lucky. Her processing core was only inches away from being punctured. And then we got medical attention for as soon as possible. Goldie was outside for hours on end. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do. Whoever did this will pay! Um, guys, you might want to come into the office. We made an interesting discovery. Let's check this out. You three come with us. Okay, you four just stay here and rest. <sighs> Alright. We were looking through the security monitor, and I forgot that we had a camera installed to the outside of the building. Really? Did it capture who was responsible for Wither Golden Frey's assassination? Yes, but... This is where I discovered an unfortunate truth about a certain member of our family. Oh no. Chica, are you seeing this? I don't believe it. Springtrap? No, this can't be right. This has to be a glitch. It's not a glitch, Freddy. The camera caught and recorded Springtrap with no issues. There's no maybe or what ifs. Springtrap destroyed Withergo and Freddy. How could Springtrap do this to us? We treat him like a family, and this is how he repays it? I was afraid this would happen. I just didn't think it would happen so soon. What? Remember how I told you all I used my powers to make Springtrap good? Well, he wasn't always a good person. Underneath that suit was someone who had a thirst to kill the innocent. That was until I discovered him in that suit and purified his soul. However, it seems like the effects are wearing off. So, all this time, we had a murderer in our home, and you never told us?! You don't understand, Chica. He's a changed man. It's mostly the bad programming that's making him act this way. Well, why is he still active in there?! I don't know why, but what I do know is that we have to find Springtrap and get rid of whatever is making him act the way he formerly did. Great! Like the last time hunting down something that was trying to kill us went smoothly! Seems like this time will be different. We need to find him before he finds us. It's too late. You should have started thinking about that the moment you found out. Now, now, let's be civilized here. We just want to help you, Springtrap. Help? Pfft. You're the ones who are going to need help for what I'm going to do to you. Trust me, I'm a very creative person. I'll do your deaths justice. Please, we just want to talk. Enough talk, Fazbear! It's time for me to end you like I did to those five kids. You gotta remember, Springtrap! You created us to bring joy to kids and grown-ups alike! You know, out of my creations, I liked you the least. What? Leave Chico alone! Not bad, Freddy. Trap, are you alright? Puppet, what's going on? And why does my head hurt? Let's just say you went rogue and Puppet had to deliver some medicine. 
Oh, that makes sense. I'm really sorry if I hurt you guys. It's alright. What matters is- <laughs> Go, Freddy! Ow! Ow! <sighs> I don't get it! I thought Puppet purified you! Did you forget? I'm a master of trickery! How do you think I got away with my crimes for so long? That programming has rotten you to the core! You've left me no choice! We're gonna have to end your reign of terror once and for all. <laughs> you just don't know when to quit! This is gonna be fun! <laughs> My path leads me to you, and right now, it's leading me to your ultimate demise. <laughs> I just love the smell of fear. Spring trap, you don't have to do this. Oh, I will, unless you plan to stop me. Oh, wait, you can't. You came to protect your own family. No, that's not true. Keep telling yourself that as I annihilate everyone you love and care about. You wouldn't dare. Let's start with her. No, please, what are we gonna do with her? Do it to me. Freddy, don't do it. Look in her eyes as you watch her die. No! If you think that you can threaten my family, then you have another thing coming! <laughs> like what? You're weak, pathetic, and you bring shame upon us all. You have no idea what I can do. Huh? What's this? No. Would be a good time to hold your breath. You will regret everything you've done. This. How is this possible? You weren't built for stuff like this. Evolution is a jerk, isn't it? It's interesting what happens when you let a robot learn and adapt. <laughs> Freddy, let me do it. Huh? I need to be the one to end this. I was there with him at his start. I'll be there at his end. Cole, Freddy, are you serious? He's your brother. The right word is, was, not anymore. I have to do what's right for everyone. Now stand back. <sighs> Goodbye, brother. You've given me no choice. Cody, stop! What are you doing with my axe? Uh, Springtrap? Is that really you? Like, for real this time? Of course, why wouldn't it be? Can someone tell me what the heck is going on here and... Why is my mask and jaw missing? You know how I feel about leaving my skin exposed. And why are you guys damaged and tattered up? Um, how do we put this? You did this to us, as well as injured some of the others. What? What do you mean? Is everyone okay? <coughs> well, everyone is fine, except for one, with a gold Freddy. You mean, did I murder him? Springtrap, your mind was under the influence of the bad programming of your suit, as well as your old ways. You had no control of what you were doing, but it appears the programming which was stuck inside your mask has been knocked out. Oh my... I'm terribly sorry. I didn't mean to. You guys know I wouldn't hurt you. I, I never wanted this to happen. It's okay, Springtrap. What matters is you're back on our side. 
What about the others? They're gonna think I'm a monster! Don't stress it, we'll help talk things out. They probably won't like what you did, but I'm sure they'll forgive you for your actions. And that's why Springtrap did what he did. He never wanted those things to happen. He's a different person now, and has abandoned his old ways. Exactly. I tried to fight the bad programming, but it was too powerful, so there was nothing I could do to stop myself from what I did. But Springtrap, that doesn't change the fact you still killed a member of our family, intentional or not. I don't think I can get over that. I know, and I hate every bit of myself for that. I want to give up my evil ways for good, live a peaceful life, and be free from my burdens. But now, my hands are stained with the mechanical fluids of a family member. If you guys hate me too much, then I understand. I'll take my leave. Well, when you put it like that... I don't think we could ever possibly stay angry at you for this. You clearly changed as a person. Sure, your old ways came back, but it wasn't something you wanted to happen. Yeah, sure your actions are something that's hard to be redeemed from, but this was something out of your control. And I like the fact that you acknowledge the situation at hand and you're willing to own up to your mistakes. I think you deserve another chance. Right, Freddy? Mm, you don't have to forgive me, Freddy. I know you were pretty close with, with Wither Girl and Freddy, so if anything, you have every right to stay mad at me. <sighs> I don't have it in me to hold grudges. I'm not that kind of guy. Springtrap, I accept your apology, but at the same time, Wither Girl and Freddy's death is gonna stick with me for a while. I know he wasn't always the nicest person in the beginning, but he improved as a person, and he was with me in the weather since the start. I at least hoped if he had to go, we could have seen the end with him. I understand that. Is there anything I can do? Maybe you could help store his remains away in a crate until we can figure out what we should do with him. Okay, I can do that. See you on the flip side, Goldie. Hi. Jorong, lad. Hope we're flying away with the seagulls in a peaceful afterlife. Goodbye, Weather Girl Freddy. You rest easy now. When it's our time to join you, I'll be sure to give you my proper apology.